Toro Rosso side, and this is Red Bull. So how have a few short steps become the biggest story in Formula One this week? The rumours began after these two incidents in the Russian Grand Prix. Danny Kvyat hitting Sebastian Vettel twice and ruining not just Vettel's race. Oh, I'm out! Crash! Somebody hit me in the... But his and his teammates too. Vettel was quick to speak to his old boss, while Daniel Ricciardo made it clear where he felt the blame lay. I saw Seb come into me, but I knew it wasn't him because the way he came into me was, you know, it was uh, not not natural. I, I knew he'd got hit, hit from behind. So during the safety car, I saw the screens and um, yeah, looked like uh, looked like it was Danny. So our race was totally screwed at the first corner. I think Danny just misjudged his braking point. Obviously, he hit Seb, who then in turn hit hit the other Daniel, and uh, you know that point, both the front wings are gone, cars badly damaged and the outcome was no points for either of our cars and, and uh, obviously screwed Sebastian's race as well. Speculation mounted three days later that Kvyat's position in the Red Bull team was in jeopardy and on Thursday it was announced he was moving back to Toro Rosso and 18-year-old Max Verstappen was stepping up to the Red Bull seat. Formula One news, Red Bull have replaced Danny Kvyat with Max Verstappen for the rest of the F1 season. Other drivers expressed their surprise. Jensen Button posted this on Twitter. Really? One bad race and Kvyat's dropped. What about the podium in the previous race? Hashtag short memories. I just really just hope for Daniel. You know, they've got two fantastic drivers here. I just hope that, yeah, I hope it doesn't hinder either of their uh, careers because they've got bright futures ahead of them. And uh, too much pressure, too much stress, too much expectation too early on can lead the wrong way. It's not up to me to say who deserved it or not. I'm happy with the chance they've given to me and uh, I will try to make to make the best of it and uh, we'll see where it ends up. So you inherit the tyres yeah. that he selected? Yeah, but that's fine. I and think vice versa. Amy is... Sorry, the tyres. I think it's the team's choice now. So the team is choosing the tyres and uh, and then uh, I get now what he had and I, and I have what we have. But, but the points, uh, I get to keep them. I like to keep my points <laughs> and, and the podium. So Danny Kvyat keeps his 21 points and now shares a garage with Carlos Sainz. The last time those two were in a team together was in GP3 back in 2013. And Kvyat outscored the Spaniard by 102 points. While Daniel Ricciardo teams up with Max Verstappen. He might be fourth in the Drivers' Championship on 36 points, but last year he was beaten by a younger teammate and he won't be wanting a repeat. Suddenly, all four have something to prove.